Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Kay and hopefully everyone is doing really well. Today I have kind of like a pen supply haul and like two items that are not pen related that I'm going to share with you guys. So if you like those type of videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. I will greatly appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is jump on into everything because I don't want the video to be too too long. Um, so the first thing I got that's not super pen related but you can use the pen on it is none other than this to do sticky note list it does come with 50 um sticky notes on here and i didn't open it because it doesn't have like the little pack that you can actually you know peel the little um adhesive off to pop the item out so i did get one of these so um if i don't like it then of course you guys know i will let you know in another video the next item that i have is also um kind of like a list pad but it's sticky notes as well and it does come with 60 these are the divider notes and this is just the packaging because I've already actually popped the item out so this is what it looks like it does come with this plastic cover on the front and then a paper cover which is kind of like cardstock on the back it comes with six different colors and y'all know of course they save the best for last none other than that purple so on to all the pin stuff um so I'm gonna zoom you in just a bit here so the first item that I have is some ink cartridges and I have these cartridges in black, blue, violet, and black and you will see in a few minutes why I have these ink cartridges. I also picked up a Dr. Grip uh, pen and it's supposed to be limited edition. Um, the, it came in this metallic silver, a metallic pink, and a metallic blue. The reason I picked this up is because it's gel. The original Dr. Grip pen that I had um, was ballpoint. So, of course, I wanted to switch over to the gel because I I do like gel ink. I kind of sort of prefer it. I don't, I don't mind big, not, not big, I don't mind ballpoint, um, but... I think I prefer gel more so than the ballpoint style but the other reason why I like these is because you can use it with the G2 refills so if you have uh, a pen like this the G2 you can use with um, you can use the ink refill with this one the next item that I want to share with you I'm so excited to finally have these items in my collection at Oh, I can if I could talk you guys like I'm just that excited but it's the Tombow brush pens I have them in uh, blue and I have it in black because I want to learn calligraphy rather the traditional style or the modern style I just I want to learn and I've been practicing with my other calligraphy pen and I'm going to try these out to see how I like them I am nowhere near perfect at this point but y'all know practice makes perfect and I'm hoping these will push me to continue practicing and hopefully make my calligraphy a whole lot better. I also got myself some more ink joys, but these are like the individual ones, the ones that are individually sold, of course. Um, so I got the Paper Mate ink joys and these are 0.7. This is in the color Slate Blue. And in case you're wondering the differences, this one here is the normal blue that you get in, you know, just the regular packages that you get from like Walmart, Target, etc. And this one is a deeper blue. And I think this does come in, I think, the big pack of these, if I'm not mistaken. But I wanted to try the actual color out to see what the differences were in like the undertones of the blue. So what I went ahead and did is I just wrote um, on a piece of paper so you can see. Um, the differences so this is the slate blue and then of course this is just a regular blue as you can see the slate blue is a lot darker kind of almost like a black blue than the regular blue but I don't know you guys I think I'm loving this slate blue more than I'm loving the regular blue I mean I don't know it's ink joy so you know ink joys are awesome anyway so it's kind of hard not to love them to be truthful about it so the next pen that I picked up is the Pilot. I believe it's called uh, the Kakuno pen if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. So um, it's just a fountain pen and I have a love for fountain pens. I hadn't used a fountain pen since college and I decided to go ahead and get one and try it out and this one does have a fine nib which I'm not going to touch this because if I touch it ink will get all over my hands and fingers and ain't nobody got time for that but y'all know the main reason I got this pen the cap <laughs> the cap is the main reason the coloring I just I could not help it and I could not wait to do this video to actually uh, use it so hopefully you don't mind that 
Now, those refills that I was showing you guys, the reason I got those refills is I also got three other fountain pens. Um, these are by the brand called Platinum. So I have it in a black, I have it in a blue, and then I also have it in a purple. Now the difference is, if you can see, the difference is with these and the other one is they tell you like your nib size. So the black and blue are 0.2 and the purple is a 0.3. So if I'm not mistaken, you can actually get the black and blue in a point two, three, and I think also a four. And the purple one only comes in a point three and a point four, if I'm not mistaken. The other thing about these, I was actually pleasantly surprised to find out that the pens actually do come with the ink already inside of the end. It's not inserted into um, the ferrule to kind of connect to the nib. So you have to puncture it to actually get it to flow up into the nib. But it does have the ink already included so it just comes loose inside of the packaging now these were not in any sort of packaging at all like my um other like the other fountain pen that i have and it probably will help if i zoom you guys out um so these did not come in a packaging like this one unfortunately i threw the packaging away so i couldn't share with you how that one actually came but i do like fountain pens and I am so happy to finally have uh, some fountain pens in my possession that are like a fine point because sometimes when you're writing things sometimes it's helpful to have a finer point especially if you have to write a lot or fit a good bit of writing in a tight space if that makes sense so this is every single thing that I have for you guys in my little impromptu slash mini haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions definitely go ahead and leave them in the comment section below blessings to you and your family and as always i will talk to you soon bye